Can we just talk about Beckham? Because it was David yes. Beckham that really has trended the tattoos, whether mm. we like it or not. And he's got it plastered everywhere. Yeah. Like, what? Well, What's about, going on there? Well, about 12 years ago, David Beckham's uh, runner, you know what a runner is, yeah? No. Ah, yes. Yeah. Some, uh, David yeah. Beckham's runner came here asking me what um, I consider doing a tattoo for David Beckham. Yeah. And I says, what does he want? He said, well, he doesn't know. He wants you to draw things. I said, well, it doesn't work like that. I cannot spend hours drawing for people. Uh, if he comes in with a specific idea, yes, I can take it from there. Anyway, he said, well, he's very busy. I said, well, so am I. So I think he got the wrong impression and must have just thought, oh, well, I won't bother sending him to him then. And he went somewhere else. Right. That's fine. Um, because I've had lots of celebrities here anyway. I've done Spice Girls, Take That, the full Australian rugby team, TV people, drama people, politicians. So that was probably one of the reasons why he came here or sent one of his runners here because it is a well-known, established tattoo parlour, you see. So you're the famous tattoo artist that rejected Beckham, love it. Well, did, <laughs> well, I did, well yeah, in, in, if you like, yeah. but not, not in a... No, it was a, your turn too. Yeah, yeah, not in a, a clever way. No. I would have enjoyed his, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, his business. Yeah. Uh, it's all good for the... Uh, the the, the yeah. social and yeah. artistic side of the business and the, the, you know but at the end of the day you know um, I've also got to be professional in the fact that I cannot drop everything for him oh, he can yeah. have all them people around him if he wants yeah. but I've just got a business and it's not affected me I'm still here 15 years on you know yeah. One so, last question. The Australian rugby team? Yeah, the full Australian. Australian. So yeah, the kangaroos, they were called. Do you know them? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kangaroos. Well, they came in the shop, and there's about 13, 14 of these guys, and they were big. They were like wardrobes with heads on top of them. And they blocked out all my daylight, and they're good drinkers, aren't they? So I said, OK, who's chaperoning this lot here? And this guy said, good day he said i am i said listen i said i cannot have 14 people in here i said it's chaos so he said what we'll do we'll do two at a time he went okay he said i'll take them to the pub next door and he took them to the lower turks head on shoot hill which just happens to be uh one of the only pubs in the world that had a tattoo a permanent tattoo history display uh, which was all part of my tattoo museum that we put in there the reason i put that in there is because i also have an interest business-wise in the pub you see right so they all went in the lower turks head back in the day and then we did them two at a time and they had a little um, logo saying ruse 93 on the bum oh. so it gives you an idea when that was done Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so well, thank you very, that's very all right. much. I don't mind having a talk as long as the talk's good, you know? It's amazing. <laughs>